If you've used My Lab and Mastering before, you can use the same username and password that you've used in the past. Uh, if you've never used it, go ahead and create an account and check on the right side of the screen to make sure you're registering for the correct course. Now once you do that, you're going to have to pay for the access code. You can use an access code that comes with a textbook. However, in this class, you don't need to have a hard textbook. You can just use the access code because the access code includes the entire ebook. You can pay with a credit card. If you pay on this website, it's $88. You may want to compare the price of the access code um, on, in, in our school bookstore as well. And there is a third option here. You can get temporary access for the first 17 days without payment. You can, it's kind of like a trial period, but once the, those days pass, you will have to either use a credit card or purchase an access code in the, in the bookstore and, and enter that code. So you would go ahead and start that. And, and the next part of this video is gonna show you once you have registered, finish this process, how to begin working on the assignments. Okay, once you've completed the registration process, go back to the PearsonMyLabAndMastering.com website and this time click on sign in. You only register one time in the beginning of the semester and then every other time you're going to simply click on sign in. Use the same username and password that you used when you created your account. On the left side of the screen here, you're going to find your course, open up the course, and you will see the lots of information on our course home screen. If you use this in the past, it's going to look a little bit different, but it's really easy to navigate. Right now you have, uh, on, on the top of the screen, we have a calendar, and if you click on any of these icons, you can see when um, some of these due dates are, as well as you'll see a list of your upcoming assignments here. You can go directly to the assignments by clicking on the assignment links here, or you can navigate through the course using all the tabs on the left side of the screen. Right below Course Home, you will have a tab for homework. This is going to list all of the homework assignments for the entire semester. Pay special attention to those due dates. You want, you want to do the best you can in this class and you want to get those assignments done when they are due. The first assignment listed here, even though this one is due, say, on May 19th, you don't want to wait until May 19th to start it. You could start it today, get started on those, and that's the last day you can have that complete. You, you to start the homework assignment, you simply click on the assignment and begin working through. Now, some of these assignments are videos. For example, this assignment is a selection of videos, and I have listed here not to watch every single video. Um, <clears throat> in fact, you want to watch videos 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 8, and QR. QRs are, is the quick review at the end of the selection of videos. You do want to take the time to watch all of those videos. This is an online class, and you're missing out on uh, seeing a lesson from, from the live teacher, so this is uh, really the best way to get that information. Uh, you can continue to navigate through the course right below that. Homework tab on the left is the quizzes and the tests. You're going to see some practice quizzes for the chapter tests. You'll see additional section quizzes. And during the testing windows, you'll see your tests here as well. Um, the quizzes and the practice quizzes, you can take those at home or from any internet. To do the chapter test, you will have to go to the testing center. Right below that are some additional features. A study plan, you can use that. That's an optional resource, and some of my students have done very well using the study plan. You can also view your grade book for all, all of the assignments and quizzes for this section, for this um, online portion of the course with the homework. In addition, we have all of these chapter contents. Since you aren't buying a hard textbook, you have the entire textbook here on this website. It's organized by chapter. It has a solutions manual, graphing calculator manual, and all these additional chapter content. If you go to each section, 
you will see uh, the example videos, the multimedia e-text, as well as the study plan. If you click on the e-text, that's just like opening a textbook. And you can see the pages, you can scroll through, you can read through. This is an interactive textbook. You can watch videos as you're reading through the sections. So there's tons of resources here on this website. And if you continue to scroll down, there are some additional tools for success. These are optional. You've got video bot podcasts and flashcards and reviews, and as well as a graphing calculator reference card. We have a multimedia library. This is a great tool if you want to get some additional review on a certain section. Select the chapter and the section that you would like and find all the different types of media that are available, including animations, your textbooks, PowerPoints, and videos. Just under the multimedia library, there's a Pearson Tutor Center. You have access to tutoring um, from the Pearson professionals, and you will be able to access this when you're working on your homework. And there's some additional information here, so take the time to explore the website and keep in mind the due dates for your homework, the due dates for your quizzes, and um, stay on track of everything. Good luck.